Hello guys, Antoine here for Sim Architecture and welcome back to a new video which is a little bit special because it's part of a very big collab uh, organized by Simproof, my good friend Simproof. Um, a few days ago she contacted me asking me if I would like to build a parliament and I was like, which one? <laughs> which parliament are you talking about? And then she told me, the House of Parliament, and I was like, oh yeah, okay, you mean the um, Parliament of UK, okay, so um, I was like, yes, okay, uh, why not, but what's the, what's the project? And then she told me that she would like to create a save file based on Harry Potter world. And yes, she asked me to build uh, one of the most recognizable, if not the most recognizable building of London, because one part of the save will be based on London. Um, so there, there will be the House of Parliament, which I'm building right now. Um, there will be the Ministry of Magic, Diagonally, uh, the Le Leaky Cauldron. Um, and yes, I think that's it for the London part. And also, uh, of course, there is um, Hogwarts. Um, there is also a part based on Hogsmeade. And there will be another part, which is a bit more diverse with several builds that you've seen in the movies and in the books, like the Malfoy Menor or um, different other buildings, um, yes, that you can see several times in the movies. So she asked me to build um, Big Ben, which by the way is a mistake to call it Big Ben. Big Ben is just the name of the bell, I don't know if you know it. Um, actually, this is the clock tower, which is part of the House of Parliament, which is absolutely huge. It's an incredibly massive new gothic building, which is just gorgeous. I've been there myself once, um, and I was completely astonished by the architecture of this place. It was wonderful, really. Um, once Mr. Altogether, which is, if you don't know the name of the neighborhood um, around um, the parliament, so there's also Westminster Abbey, where um, all the royals are getting um, their wedding. Um, yes, the, the whole area is super nice and the architecture is just crazy and the parliament is a real masterpiece. So, um, yes, <laughs> she asked me to build Big Ben and I was like, okay, how am I going to do that um, on a... 30 by 20 lot <laughs> like even the 64 by 64 wouldn't be enough for the house of parliament and have to build it on a 30 by 20 which is so challenging so i decided to focus on the key feature of this build which is the clock tower of course even though there's a bigger um tower which um i'm not sure uh, maybe i'm wrong but i remember it as the king george tower um I'm not sure it makes sense, I'm not sure it's even true, probably just my imagination, but anyway, there's a much larger tower, but it's not as famous as the clock tower. So I decided to just focus on this one, and just to build a small room attached to it with some um, neo-gothic architecture, just to remind the general look of the building. And yes, that's pretty much it. Um, but my biggest problem was the size of the clock tower, because as you know, in The Sims, you can only build four floors. And yes, the tower just looked too short and it didn't work properly. So I tried several things, like I raised the foundation, which just looked weird. Um, I tried um, to raise the terrain, which was also super strange. Um, I tried to play with foundation tools, which didn't work. So what I did uh, to add a, a fifth level, which is not possible technically, so it's actually a fake level just with half walls. And I used a trick to put the roof on top of the fifth floor, which is um, normally not possible, but if you raise a foundation next to it, put the floor in it, and then stretch the um, roof from this foundation to the part you want to cover with the roof, then it works. So that's what I did just to add another artificial floor, which is not playable or anything, but it's just for the look, and I think it looks much better with um, an additional floor, because 
yes, the, um, the, the tower was a little bit short and it just looks strange. So yes, um, and for the little building attached to it, um, as I told you, um, Yes, the House of Parliament is solely huge, and there are the two chambers here, the Lord Chamber and the Common Chamber. Um, so yes, it was not, of course not possible to build it here on this lot, so I just turned this um, room as a hallway, kind of, um, with statues, benches, um, chandeliers, statues, and that's it. Um, this is a general um, or no generic lot, so it doesn't have any specific use, which I think is the best thing to do because um, yes, you cannot really implement any function in this build uh, except generic lot. I think um, maybe if you want to turn it into a club or <laughs> a bar, you can do it. But for me, it would just easier to turn it into a generic lot. Um, and yes, so. Yeah, basically the build is mostly there on um, decorative purpose. Um, yeah, when you see it from afar it just looks nice, but you don't have a specialty to go there. Uh, it's just part of the cityscape and I think it's enough. And to be fair, I I'm really excited to see what the other creators involved in the collab did because um, from what I heard, um, some great creators were involved and I Cannot wait to see how they created um, the other famous location of Harry Potter. I'm especially um, curious about the Ministry of Magic, which is something I wanted to build a long time ago, but I was like, no, it's too... Wow, it's just too much. Um, the only Harry Potter locations that I've built on my channel was the Grimmauld Square, Grimmauld Place. I, I never remember how to call it, because in French it's called Grimmel Square, but I think in the English version it's Grimmel Place or something like that. Anyway, um, so I did it on my channel, and that's the only Harry Potter related thing that I've built. Um, yeah, so I'm just curious to know and to see what the other people built. Um, I'm especially excited for Hogwarts, which is being built by Simproved. Um, and also by the Malfoy Menor, uh, Malfoy Menor, because you know I'm just obsessed with castles and manors, and I'm super excited to see what they did. Um, there is also diagonally, which is um, a really cool thing. I did a sort of diagonally um, quite recently. It was the Magic Alley, which was of course inspired by diagonally, but it was not 100% like the Harry Potter version. There aren't the famous uh, shops like Holly Vendors or um, Fred and George shop. Um, so yes, um, this time we'll have a real Tiger Lee. Um, yes, um, I think I told you pretty much everything. If you're interested in this save, um, you can just check out uh, Simprith channel or her Twitter account where everything is linked. Um, and if you want to download only this lot, you can go to my Gary, it's uploaded there. Uh, it's 100% CC free, so you can download, download it without any trouble and implement it to your game if you want. Um, you can also put it on a larger lot and make it a little bit larger, just so it looks like the actual parliament. Yeah, feel free to do whatever you want. Um, so now I think it's time for me to leave you. So. Once again, thank you Simproved for, yes, um, for inviting me in this collab. Um, thank you everyone for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.